It's time for the Giz Whiz with Mads Mattis Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1961, recorded Tuesday, November 7th, 2023. A fanless fan. On this episode of the Giz Whiz, Dick D. has a brand new, unique LED desk lamp. He also has a new way to add shelves without drilling into your walls. I have a Chad Extra and another gadget that looks like it shouldn't work. All next on The Giz Wiz. It's the Sando Show with Dickie D and OMG Chad on your PC. It's time for The Giz Wiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease. Under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing, growing LEDs. Get ready for The Giz Wiz now. Now! now the handiest of handymen, Dick D. Bartolo. <laughs> How you doing, Dickie D? I'm doing good, sir. And you? Doing good. Doing great. Yeah, I can't Excellent. Complain. Excellent. <laughs> Anything thrilling in your life? Let me think. It has just been non-stop busy. Holy moly. I've been um, really ramping up, uh, like, just on a personal... I mean, I guess it's business, but on a personal business note, um, like I have the OMG craft channel and I've been doing this new Disney channel and I want to do even more with the Gizwiz and I'm trying to, <laughs> every project I'm trying to do more with at the same time. And it's been a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> but oh I, th I think it's awesome, and I think it's going to pay off. Um, a change with the Gizwiz, for example, is I, uh, I honestly, starting tomorrow, I'm ready to uh, announce that the patrons have a new perk. And uh, that perk is that I'm going to be giving away some of the gadgets that I uh, show off on the show, some of the crappy corner gadgets that I do. I want to be giving them away. And I have kind of a... Um, a backlog of gadgets. I have my own oh, little great. gadget warehouse of crappy corners. And so uh, uh, we're going to be putting up a post tomorrow showing off which gadget that I'm going to be giving away and telling people to enter in. And then in a week from now, actually, I think I'm going to have the, I think I'm going to have the form end on Friday. So on Friday, uh, Submissions are closed. You can't add your name to the list anymore. And we're going to choose someone to send the gadget to. And then I'll show off what the next gadget. Okay. How are, we going to, how are we going to determine who? I have a random... I have a... I have a... <laughs> I have a procedure. It's like a Rube Goldberg, like, crazy machine. No. It's... Uh, I have a wheel. And so what we'll do is we'll take the, sub, the names that, of the patrons who submitted. And this is a perk for the patrons only. Um, and I have a big digital wheel, and I can spin it, and so that'll be in the oh, video. Oh, great! So it'll oh be random, live-ish, live to tape. Uh, wow! Random, um, what? To figure out who uh, who wins the. Um... So yeah, it's a patron-only member post. So if you oh, want to okay. uh, join in on the oh, fun, that's gonna be fun. Become a that's going to be fun. Yeah, and so I hope to do that every week. Who knows what gadgets you're going to see? Um, and in fact, I even have some gadgets that uh, sometimes I order extra crappy corners because I don't know if they're going to arrive. Right, yeah. Or, you know, sometimes I can't tell if I'm ordering the right thing. So anyway, so some gadgets that we give away may have never been seen before, even. So uh, I think it'll wow. be fun. It'll be a fun thing to do. Oh, so join the Patreon if you haven't already. Uh, more perks are coming. So yeah, good, good times. Excellent. Excellent. What have you been up to? What's so? Uh... Uh, well, I had a, a, a fun thing yesterday. Every November, um, I donate money to a, a place called Westside Campaign Against Hunger, oh, wow. and they do a special thing for um, families who are in need of food and especially turkeys at Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, and so uh, while I was there, the woman said, "You know." You want to go downstairs and watch them pack up some food? I just took two photos. Um, and it was it was kind of moving to see the, the, the first sets of bins are 
people get grains and canned goods. And then the second set of bins, uh, I think the green stuff is all fresh produce. And the, all these people are volunteers. And she gave me, uh, she said, you know, you give every year, let me give you a sheet of what we did last year. So last year they distributed 4.2 million pounds of food. Wow. 55% of it was fresh produce. Wow. They served 75,000 individuals. Um, and people who have special dietary needs, there's a program, I don't know if it's federal or, or just state, called SNAP, which oh, is yeah. su oh, oh, okay, Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. And they were able to give out, uh, help people get $4 million in benefits uh, for their special food needs. So it was, it was a very moving thing to see that. See actually what money can buy. So that was great. Yeah, absolutely. And um, yeah, I, I've always had a special place uh, for food banks and places that, you know, give out extra food. I, I have seen it firsthand being used and, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if the word enjoyed is the right thing, but, you know, actually used. And, and it, it seen, I've seen it make a difference. And um, I'm shocked by the amount of fresh produce, over 50%. I would have assumed yeah. so much of it was canned or Yeah, packaged. you know, my, my guess is that they work a lot with uh, produce producers who, whatever they have left that's not going to go to a supermarket, probably go directly to them because of the time limit of fresh produce. Yes. And that probably goes right back out. I think they uh, I think they give food out like three or four days a week. So it's possible that that was where most of the fresh produce goes is come and pick it up kind of thing because yeah. I think they have 60 locations. It used to just be one location. And then when COVID struck, it was just overwhelming. So they someone came up with a great plan to work with other charities to set up local distribution points wherever they were. Yeah. So now instead of one location, I think there are now 60 locations people can go to uh, for uh, needed food. So I think it's a great idea. That is fantastic. Uh, yeah. uh, there was a, a food bank in Dallas that I loved how they did it is it was basically just a pantry <laughs> is you would walk in and choose kind of what it, you know every every place every uh organization does it a bit different but i loved how they did it where it was r literally just a building you walk in almost like a store but nothing had prices and you just walk out yes, with it yes. that that's how that's how this started yeah and and, and the and the woman said, "Did you want to see downstairs?" And I said, "Oh, you know, I know about that. The 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 free store where people just come in." And she said, "Oh, it's totally changed." She said, w "We couldn't handle that many people, so now we we moved the giving the food away to the street, three yeah. or four days a week, and we negotiated a warehouse uh, because the numbers are just." going up and up yeah. and up and, and also uh, being able to get to a location is a barrier you know if yes. you, if your yes. only food bank is the bank that's six blocks that way you know uh and so if you can distribute it better than the yeah. a brick and mortar building exactly. anyway. yeah she was saying transportation for a poor person is a an, an expense they may not have money have uh, mm -hmm. money to do so anyway i agree that's great that's 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 awesome. Um, okay, let's. What? Should we jump into gadgets? Let's do it. Let's jump uh, in. Here's gadget number one. What the show needs is something totally new, like an LED lamp. Ooh. Okay. I think it is different. All right. <laughs> it's like a wide angle or a, a wide LED desk lamp that clamps to the back of a desk. Big enough to go over your monitor. It looks like oh, a process. Doesn't a it look? Guy. Holy cow. So, 
The other thing I like about it is that it is from, I think, 3000K to 6500K, so you can dial the light you want. And this is, <laughs> this has got to be a wide, this is great. I'm going to use it over my mm -hmm. monitor. At first, I was buying it just to have uh, something for the show. But now I'm thinking over the top of the monitor, clipped to the back of the desk, this might be really nice. And I'm hoping that there's a line dimmer. Uh, you know what? It doesn't seem to be a line dimmer. This is the power supply. All right, so it's not USB. Oh, you know what? Actually, this is this might be better. All the controls are right on the front of the lamp. All right, so um, I'm going to put it in place, and then we'll see what it looks like and how it works. I'm at the back of the desk now, so you can see how little space that lamp takes up. Just a C-clamp that screws up, and I guess this desk is a little more than an inch uh, thick, but there's a lot of room on that for a desk that could be, boy, it looks like you could probably get a desk two or three inches thick with uh, this setup. You can see here on my desk with this monitor and that monitor base, there's really no place to have a lamp with a big base. So this lamp is going to be ideal for that. And this is the lamp in place. Okay, so I have a 27-inch screen. The lamp is about 22 and a half inches. And the whole neck of the lamp is a gooseneck, so you can bend it up and down. I have it over the monitor the way I like. So you can set the temperature for 4,000, 4,500, 5,000, and 6,000K. And you just vary that by doing this. Actually, uh, I'm hitting the brightness control. There are five brightnesses, 20%, 40%, 60%, and 80%. We know from doing this that you're probably not seeing this uh, in the camera uh, because the camera just keeps adjusting for it. And then the second thing is that's the uh, white light. And then it goes through. And I like the warm light, which is, I think it's, I'm using like 4,000. Then there's an auto adjust over here, which uh, I don't use. You have to be using the white light at like 50% or 60%. And then it'll keep that light steady, depending on if there's sunlight in the room. It keeps adjusting that automatically. And then the little on off, which is nice because it remembers whatever your last setting was. Okay. So I like that a lot. And as you can see, it just keeps the rest of the desk clear. There's no stand, just that little clamp in the back. And uh, I like this a lot, okay? It has a brand name, but the brand name doesn't matter because as you can tell from the user manual that it's just show, uh, sold under a bunch of names. That's it, LED lamp that I like. Okay. I gotta say, I like it too. I, I think it's, it's big. I like the touch controls. I can't complain. I think that's a pretty... Yeah. Now, I always check right before the show that it's available, and it said one left. Is it uh, still uh, there? Uh, 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 one left in stock. Uh, Order uh, soon. Uh, <laughs> Rot row. Right. They also now, used the smallest... Wait, is this a real laptop? I can't tell. It has it has a charging port, but nowhere does it say what the output of the charger. It has a single charging port on the front, as you see in that picture there. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure this is a rendered image. That uh, reflection on the bottom of the desk and the mouse and everything. Anyway. They chose the tiniest laptop and monitor to go next to this massive... Yes, isn't that a riot? Is... I think that this is fake. I think that they made the 3D models tiny. Um, it's it. The funny thing is, is it is a big, it is a big lamp. I mean, <laughs> yeah, a very large lamp. Yeah, but I still and I love it. that the, the whole thing is a gooseneck. So you... Yeah. You fold it down. Now... 
um, in case that sold out, I found one. And the other one I found is incredibly cheap. I, uh, it's going to be the next uh, Amazon link I sent. Is this is sort of like that? Yeah. Oh, look at this! It's twenty four dollars, and this the coupon is still there. Twenty five percent off. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's a lot off. That is a I, ton. I think it comes to like six bucks. 18, like that's eight, six bucks yeah, off. It's, yes. It's, like nineteen dollars. Yeah, yeah. Very. It's still. It's still clamps. It's, it's still cool. clamp. It only has two uh, controls on the top. Yeah. But one of the three, one of the four controls that I have, I, I don't use. Um, it looks pretty slick. Also, I like that too. Yeah, this is also uh, a very handy dandy uh, lamp. Yeah. Yeah, I like these. And so you've kept it. You've uh, you've it it f fulfills its purpose. Good. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Good. The one I have in the the uh, the one that I found looks like a very decent buy for <laughs> right now. Nineteen dollars. The yeah. lamps used to be a fortune, and yeah. it has uh, three brightness, three different. I think it has five brightnesses. And it's like 3,000, 4,000, and 5,000. You can adjust the warmth of the light. Yeah. Take, take a look at this one. This one's 30 bucks, but with a 40. Oh, yeah, I found, wait a minute. How? <laughs> this one is 40% off. Wait a second. And 30. Oh, it's the same. It's eight. This is $18. <laughs> Coincidence? Coincidence? Maybe these yeah, factories pump it, these out. You don't need to snap the plug. It's two dollars cheaper. Yes, yeah, so if you already have a brick, uh, you don't need to yeah. get the with adapter. Is this just USB one? Oh, that one's only thirty percent off. Uh oh. Oh, get the been... other one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's an extra two dollars and seven cents off. At Ten percent. Wow. Oh my um, God. Would your ex find it? Oh my gosh. This was, this was, this has wings. Oh my gosh, it does. This is a very different design. What? It has actually, <laughs> it folds. Oh, Look, that's what it, I... You can point it up if you want. So that's the LEDs at the top and the bottom. And then they'd unfold <laughs> if you want them to. Oh, but look at. 46 45 Oh gosh, that's expensive. Get out of here. We need <laughs> we need single digits. You need better than $18. We need something that's $11. It's got to be at least 10% less expensive. Uh that's awesome. Thank you Scooter X for sending that over. That's okay, great. the next gadget. Yes, a Chad Extra. I took over. Now, I don't think there's a single person Maybe there's a single person that watches the Gizwiz that's going to absolutely need this gadget. <laughs> okay. Everyone else, it's pretty clever and, and interesting, so I think you'll find it interesting. But uh, I don't know if this is the right demographic for this gadget. But okay. But here's, here's an extra. Today we are taking a look at the Creeper Mini Fridge. So this was sent to me, and I am... I'm so excited about this product, oh my honestly. God. So it is a over two foot tall creeper. I went ahead and set it up, so here it is. He has a super tall creeper fridge. As you can see from the box, he opens up and you can store uh, sodas inside of it. It says that it holds up to 14 cans. We're gonna put that to the test. Uh, it also oh, it mentions it's a, it's a charged creeper. That's why it has a little bit of blue on the uh, texture there. It also comes with some lighting. So it mentions oh, okay. that it has two separate compartments, the head and the body. There's also some LED lighting there. Now this is a Target exclusive and it comes in at $100 for the Creeper mini fridge. When you get it, small amount of assembly, you just have to add these feet. They're inside of these compartments. I've actually had this running for a few days now and I've been using it. And I gotta say that the refrigerator aspect of this 
perfect, okay? These drinks are so cold. I gotta say that I'm, I really like how chilled it keeps the beverages. Um, and having two compartments, my first thought was like, oh my gosh, I can actually set it up refrigerator down here, freezer up here. You can't do that, okay? It's just one thing. In fact, you don't even get control over the temperature. It's just on or off. That's all you get. Um, so both of them are refrigerators, not freezers. Uh, there does, is some like ambient lighting, so you can see this green light down here. It only is emitted from the bottom of the creeper, but then also along the back of the head. So if this was up against a wall, it would also shine up against the wall and add a really, really cool effect. So you get both green, and then you also get, with the flick of a switch, blue. And I assume the blue is like charged creeper. Whoa, it's going to explode any moment now. So uh, it, the last final feature before we move on to its capacity is that it has a little charging port right here on the front of it. <laughs> the box, I couldn't find it mentioned anywhere on the box of how fast that charging port is. So I assume it's very, very slow. So let's talk a little bit about capacity. They mentioned that, there, that you can fit 14 cans inside in the, <laughs> the refrigerator compartment. If you count here, I have four at the bottom, two here, two here, and two here. That only comes out to 10 cans. That's not even a 12 pack of cans. And I will be honest, I have tried really, really hard to find a way to fit more cans in here. I did have an idea that I could take out the grate and maybe fit some more in. Although this grate does not want to remove anymore. I feel like there's some tabs or something in there that's keeping oh, this yeah, break no, in it. place. But this second story in here, you cannot fit a can into the top of it. The, the, it's just not, <laughs> it just won't work, okay? So I can kind of fit them in on its side, but then I go to add another can and I can't do that. I can't even fit a can in between oh, no. there. Fit How a did third they do into that compartment, so I don't understand. I'm not, like, these are normal 12 ounce cans, y'all, okay? I'm not going crazy here. And then same thing up here, I can't find a way to fit an, another can inside of here unless I remove the grate, but I, I can't get these things out of here anymore. Like, they're stuck. I don't, they, oh, there we go, we got one out. Honestly, yeah, this, th these little teeth right here must be what I'm, I'm Okay, so now that that's out of there, how many, okay, can I actually fit? I was able to fit a lot more cans in there, holy moly. I think that if I got rid of the grate on the other one, I'd find the space to fit the other two cans. Okay, now we have to try. I did have okay, 14 cans. the grate has cans. been removed. Because that's what the box oh said. Oh my gosh, barely. These will now sit on top of each other. And finally, I have been able to accomplish the 14 cans that the box said I could fit into here. So just know that you're not gonna be able to have a shelf. If you need shelves, you're only able to fit 10 cans inside of it. Okay, like I said, uh, this is 100 bucks and available at Target if you want it. And uh, I gotta say, I like it. I think that this is a pretty cool creeper. It is $100 and it's just a refrigerator. So honestly, it's not needed. I feel like this is not a needed product, but it has kept my drinks cold. I really like the temperature that it keeps them. And it's darn convenient and honestly, so impressive. I really love the print quality on the front of this. It looks just absolutely awesome looking at it. So. Uh, I gotta say, there wasn't really any big red flags. It is what it is, and I like it. Okay, there you go. The but you, you missed the biggest selling point of all. Do you have the box there? Oh, I don't. Not anymore. No, that's okay. That's okay. But right I on the box, in big type, it features green technology. <laughs> Did it say that? Green technology? What? What is green technology? Oh! Te yeah, I was so confused by this. They are... I guess that somehow it's a more efficient refrigerator technology. So it's green because it uses oh, less oh. energy 
to oh, keep your cans. Yeah, there's no compressor. No, yeah, there is no compressor. Um, and it mentioned it. It came, like I said, it was shipped. It was shipped to me, so it came with a PR sheet. And they mentioned exactly what type of um, technology they're using <laughs> that was so special, and I can't remember it anymore. Thermoelectric. Here we go. Uh, there is thermoelectric. Yes, when you're not reaching into. It, this thermoelectric cooler for the last slice of pizza is basically an impressive two foot tall <laughs> figure. So, yes. Um, <laughs> Christy Vegas says, that's not efficient at all. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's, that is what the green technology was, was that it's energy efficient. Um, so, yeah. Well, uh, I'm sure your fans over at Minecraft will think this is amazing. Yes, yes. And really, there's not many two-foot-tall, hard plastic figures out there. And so this is kind of unique in just its look, just the fact that it's like a yeah. statue of a creeper. And then the fact that it's also a mini-fridge, pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah. No, I, has... happened to, I happened to look at your channel the other day. You have one and a half million <laughs> subscribers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, we're at 1.5 million subs. Isn't that insane? <laughs> uh, it seems like just the other day, I was at a million. It seems like... <laughs> uh, yeah. No, Not I, that I, long ago. I told this years ago, but I'll tell it again. I was at a trade show... And there was a trailer that said Minecraft on it. And I went over to the guy and I said, you know, the co-host of a show I do um, has a, a podcast about Minecraft. Um, and I don't even know what Minecraft is. And he says, oh, uh, who's your co-host? And I said, uh, Chad Johnson. He goes, you know Chad Johnson? <laughs> and he said, can we take a selfie so I can show my daughter that this guy, meaning me, <laughs> knows Chad Johnson. <laughs> and that's when I realized, oh, my God, among Minecraft players, yes. you are a big deal. It's funny how celebrity can work nowadays with how small the, a bubble of an industry can be. <laughs> You know, yeah. it's like in the Minecraft community, uh, yeah, it could be considered a big deal, but anywhere else, I'm just a normal guy, you know, um, <laughs> and it's, it's, it's very, I feel like that's such an internet cause who, it's not that internet videos are, uh, underground, like they're public. Anyone can yeah, see yeah, them, yeah, you know, yeah. like. It's not like it's some hard to reach thing, but just the fact that there is so much content on the internet means that it is hard to find and hard to reach. And so you could be very popular in a niche and nobody else knows about you outside of that niche. Uh, oh, okay. And I kind of love that about internet uh, content, I guess, media, <laughs> is that in the Minecraft space, I can be famous. And then everywhere yeah. else is normal. <laughs> no, it's great. It's great. Yeah, it's very unique. Very fun. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so proud of OMG Craft and... and uh, oh, yeah, you should be. You how should much be. How much it's grown. Um, yeah. Okay, well, back to you for the third so, gadget. Uh, back to me with another gadget, and here it is. Recently, I did magnetic spice racks that lock onto anything metal, refrigerator, side of a computer, side of a microwave. Uh, people like them. I like them. I bought another set. So I started scouring Amazon. It took a long time. That's a lot of, a lot of places to scour uh, to find something else. And now these are not magnetic, but they are for the bathroom. E-Tech Mott, all right, and these are for the shower, and you don't have to, you know, tile is, is a pain in the neck to hang things on, 
So you peel off the back, you put that on a wall, you get three of these, you get two, two racks and three of these, I guess if you mess one up or want to reuse it or something. Um, like the spice rack, you do get little hangers that hang on the side if you want to hang, you know, maybe a sponge or soap on a rope or something, you can hang it on. And this is what, you get two of these. And they're stainless steel. All right. And, and then once it's up, you bring this up and it locks into place. You could leave it like this if that's enough room. If you need more room, bring that up, bring it out. And then you have a longer shelf. So it has hooks here. I think you can see, you know, this is not going to lay flat. This is not going to lay flat against the wall because of these ball shaped things that hang out. Um, but we'll find out. So this is, they tell you to put this on and to wait 24 hours before you hang this on. It says 12 hours if you're in a hurry, but they would uh, I prefer you waited 24 hours before you hung this up. So to do it quickly, we put this on the wall last night, about 10 o'clock, and it is now 10.15, so it's 24 hours. So we're going to go and see how this hangs up. And if these, see what I mean, is, if this is flat against the wall, well, well, we'll find out. Uh, before we do that, since I'm here at the computer, we're going to have to come back. They're very inexpensive. It's from E-Tech Mart, Shower Caddy Organizer, Rust Proof, no drilling, two-pack, silver, um, 15, 16, so eight, eight bucks a piece. All right, and as I said, you get two of these, and in the instructions... You get two in case you decide you want to move it to a new place. You have to use a hair dryer to get this off the wall. And they give you a spare one to uh, remount it again. So we'll go to the bathroom. All right, 24 hours. Uh, uh, um. It's up there. Um, we're going to see now if these little balls stick out too much. You know what? I'm going to open it before I hang it up. Yeah. In the end and hang it in the end and open it oh you know <laughs> i'm just seeing there is a side that goes against the wall uh, so if you happen to get this there's a wide extra bar on one side so this must go where it mounts up oh, one side oh oh Okay, and you have a little leeway. Oh, this is good. I'm going to put this thing directly. You know what? This is not bad. And the company says it has a weight limit of 15 pounds. I like this. I like this a lot. And I forgot about the little hangers here. Okay. These go on this, if you want to hang other stuff from it. I don't have anything here that would hang on it, but it's a good use. I have to buy stuff to hang. <laughs> yeah, you got to expand your... Uh... Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. No, I, I had been, I had some suction cup things for the bathroom they always fell on the floor and, yeah. and they never stayed up. So hopefully uh, this will be better. Yeah. But I think stainless steel and 16 bucks. Yeah, this seems great. And, and that it's like perfectly made for a shower. It's, you know, yeah. it's, 
You're, you're not worried about uh, it falling off. This just seems very stable. <laughs> very good. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. This is yeah. this is great, and it comes in a whole bunch of different. Um, oh, and styles. you can put weights in it. Did you see that one picture with the weights? <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. This> is... <laughs> oh, twenty-two pounds. Wait a minute. Holy cow! <laughs> the uh, the weights. Uh, the, you know, just in case I need these for my gym, uh, I yeah, can put my yeah, weights exactly. Exactly. up there. I like that it comes in black too, because sometimes the finishes of your oh, uh, that's oh yeah, excellent. You know your things are different. Yeah, I like that. This seems honestly inexpensive for what you get, and uh, I, how it seems I, to be working. I think so too. I think so too. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, well with that, let's move on to yo yo chat. chat. But you might want it at chat. Crappy Corner. Get it. In for another crappy one. Uh, <laughs> this uh, I recorded a video earlier, so let's take a look. Oh, <laughs> my video's broken. My video won't work. One second, let me see if I can get this okay. to play. Okay, today we are going to be taking a look at a crappy Wait a second. Okay, one second. I can hear it. Yeah, you can hear it, but it does not want to play. Don't worry, we have a backup solution that we... Okay, today we are going to be taking a look at a crappy corner, crappy bladeless fan. We asked the patrons and they responded with gadgets that look like they shouldn't work. That is the theme for this month's crappy corner gadgets. So I was thinking gadgets that look like they shouldn't work. What about those weird bladeless fans that I've seen? Dyson has a big series of bladeless fans. Those look like they actually shouldn't work. So let's find a bladeless fan. So I went to Amazon, found the handheld bladeless fan. <laughs> this is the T9 series, just to keep you updated on that. Um, it comes in a multitude of colors. I got the white option. Its brand name is Brago. Bra you got the Brago fan? I got the Brago fan. I wish they wouldn't have been quite so <laughs> loud with where they put the branding. Honestly, it's kind of hard to not see the Brago on the front of this. Uh, I wish it looked more like the <laughs> more like the image that's on the box. Uh, so this fan is very simple to use. It has three speed modes, slow, medium, and fast. It's all controlled with the power button that's on the front. And uh, there is a rechargeable battery inside of here, and that rechargeable battery is recharged with a micro USB cable, not a USB-C cable. So that kind of stinks uh, for that. In terms of how much it actually blows, how much actual fan action am I getting out of here? It's a, it's a good breeze, okay? It's a small amount of breeze. I can feel it on my face. If uh, It is currently 79 degrees out here, so about 80 degrees. And yeah, it's a nice breeze at uh, maximum speed. You can kind of get a good idea of how loud this is. I would say it's a, a tad on the loud side. Now, let's talk about this bladeless fan. Uh, yeah, the air is coming from this sort of bladeless gap <laughs> at the front of the gadget, but all you have to do is turn this around. <laughs> and I can see some blades in there, okay? This was a bladeless fan, and I'm seeing some blades underneath that grate. I feel like the magic trick was like giving up, okay? I see the effect. You have a bladed fan and it just pushes air through the front of it. I don't know if that takes away from the gadget or not. It doesn't seem very bladeless, but it does accomplish its goal, which is that uh, the direction of the airflow is coming directly out of this gap on the front. And uh, so I don't see any blades moving. I guess it's a very safe device. I feel like I could oh, yeah, give this to a true. young child and I wouldn't worry about their hands getting caught in any type of blade. Um, all in all, I feel like it is a pretty good gadget for uh, for what you get. I mean, it's obvious that it's not going to, it doesn't articulate, it doesn't really fit in a cup holder, there, it doesn't really have a good way to maybe stay on a, uh, 
uh, a, a kid's carriage type of situation if you were stroller uh, was the word just I was saying looking for. that it doesn't have a lot other than that it's a lollipop shaped bladeless fan and it works okay so for the brago bladeless fan handheld fan uh, this costs $14.99 it's available on Amazon um, I would say uh, that's a tough price because I think that it's a little bit too loud in its operation at that price and I wish that it had something else. Uh, I wish that it had some way to mount, some way to clip, some way to articulate, something other than just holding this in your hand for uh, that $14.99 price. So uh, I don't think I would recommend the Brago blade bladeless fan uh, really to anyone. <laughs> I don't recommend it to anyone. Now, I, you anyway. You see, uh, can it stand on 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 its end? So it can. St it it does have enough of a base to just oh, okay. <laughs> stand. And how okay. I, I think that the, the battery portion, they just bought one of those generic batteries. So it's it's in the handle, and then the fan is up here in the top. Um, so yeah, I mean, it worked, but. Honestly, I think the gimmick has taken the the gadget so far. Like they're really leaning on this bladeless fan gimmick, yeah. And um, I don't think it's worth the price for the type of fan, the loudness of the fan, unless yeah. you absolutely have to have it be bladeless, and you love this design, the ergonomics of it. Um, I don't really see. A uh, great use for it. Um, this fan, which is the one that we we had covered, one very similar to this. Actually, we covered one with an articulating head. Uh, I would say that would was a better fan, even though it had a physical fan that I could see spinning. Um, so yeah. Were there the... any reviews? Oh, uh, the reviews here. Let's go check uh, at these on Amazon. Honestly, none. No one's reviewed it. I'm the first one, uh, first person to ever buy this product. Uh, no one's ever bought this before. Oh, there, there it is for nine dollars. It wasn't it. Say it again. Oh, on. oh, the other one. The uh, are you talking about this one? Wait. Oh yeah, uh, there, there was one for nine ninety. Uh, let me see this one. Pretty yeah. Much. Oh, that's different. Oh yeah. Yeah. Fit and yeah. I guess oh, it does have the colors if you want those. Um, uh, no. I, I would say, it, weirdly, this gadget definitely feels like it was made in a Chinese warehouse that should have pumped out a million of these. But I don't see another version of this type That's of... That's interesting. <laughs> and where it? is Scooter X with his... I know, yeah. right? Nobody else he is has, making this he type of fan. Found it. I, I found the the manufacturer of the bladeless Brago fan. Um, so yeah, I I uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Kind of works, but um, I don't think it's worth it. <laughs> right. Okay, next week we'll be back with more gadgets that look like they shouldn't work. With that, let's move on to Dick's gadget warehouse. <laughs> They're geeky and they're goofy, together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In Dick's Gadget Warehouse Farm. All right, our email is from Sean Minisall, M-I-N-I-S-A-L-L. -I -L. Hi, Dick and Chad. I want to share my latest gadget I got. I've been waiting more than a year. And it has warped in. Oh. There's a hint. And here is wow. Sean's. Oh, wow. Sean's wow. video. Oh, my God. That's so cool looking. Okay. Here's his video. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no. Sean's video didn't work either. Oh, my gosh. I'm having video issues today. Should have played these ahead of the video. <laughs> I'll edit this out. Why did Sean's video not work? Uh, uh, okay, here we go. Hi, Dick and Chad. 
I wanted to take everyone tonight on a voyage to the final frontier. Oh. This wow. is a new die cast metal model. Uh, they're not going to make any more of them. This was from like a Kickstarter campaign from the company Tomi about a little over a year ago. So I think it was five ninety nine. dollars um, oh, oh, wow. But the quality, as you could see, is amazing. In fact, how big it is next to my other cost, custom uh, Enterprise E model. Um, it's all metal, uh, and it actually is separate pieces. Wow. So if you wanted to just have the saucers separate uh, into this base, separate from the drive section, but I chose to have them joined and together as one ship. Um, they're joined here by this little hex bolt. Um, but the, again, the attention to detail is amazing. If you look on the bridge here. Whoa! You can see the Oh, look at that light in the console, center console, and the red trim on the instruments. And this light, a uh, cool thing is this light in the introduction to the show would always be flashing like this. So as Captain Kirk did his uh, voiceover, space the final frontier and the ship was passing by, it would be flat flashing like this as well. And another thing that really impressed me is look at the detail in that child bay. Oh, wow. Cool. It also comes with um, three shuttles as well that were featured in the original series. Um, it's really nice overall. My only caveat is that it's battery operated, so it is heavy. So uh, four batteries go in the uh, sen above the sensor dome here, and then four go in, be in back of the main deflector. They could have made it a plug-in like my custom Enterprise. That way I could have had it on a timer. Um, also the batteries maybe wouldn't die as frequently. Um, but what's cool is also uh, there's a cycle here so you can increase the speed. Oh, wow. Of the warp wow. engines. And I think you can hear it making like a, a cool effect, sound effect. Um, but yeah, that's the good old 1701 that started everything, and um, hope you enjoyed it. Live long <laughs> and prosper. Live long and <laughs> prosper. That is pretty cool. I cannot believe the details of the bridge and... Yeah, <laughs> but I believe he said $600. I think yes. he said... 99 yeah. and he sent a photograph that uh, that i showed I guess, before yeah yeah. Uh, yeah golly that is honestly so impressive um even at that price though like oh it's amazing look at that that's pretty amazing yeah i completely agree with the bummer that is that it's battery operated like i would want this to be able to be plugged in with a and, cord. And it seems the batteries are in two different places. Otherwise, he could get one of those uh, little battery replacement things. Yes, yes. But there's there's look, like a, it looks like a battery, but it has a wire coming out of it. That you yes, plug, exactly, exactly. You plug into the wall. Um, I love the detail so much, like the blinking light on the back, and that there was a method to uh, make the engine spin faster. <laughs> Go faster. Very cool. Very, Maybe. very cool. And the Maybe. fact that it's all metal, I mean, really, I get that it's 600 bucks, but um, I think that uh, they put they put in the effort to not make you feel so good, so bad. Yeah. That you're spending 600 bucks on it. I mean, they really yeah. put in a lot of care into it. So. Did, did you get the sense he had to do a little bit of building? I didn't. Honestly, I, it sounded okay, like it was I like both sure. together. I, I, it came all that way, or you had to put the stands on yourself. Yeah. But, yeah. Sean, it's very impressive. Very. Very, yeah. very. Yeah, it's very cool. Uh, awesome. So she, Thank you so much, Sean, yeah. for that. Sean, you will get the current issue of Mad Magazine, the Barbie issue, the December issue. And the video was great. And if you want to make a video just like uh, Sean... Just make sure we see the gadget, hear your voice. You can be in it if you want. 
um, or you can just describe it as Sean did. A horizontal format, one to three minutes about anything to do with a gadget, any kind of gadget, new, totally unique like that one was. Um, just put it up on YouTube. And when you upload it, there's a drop down menu. You can click unlisted. And that way, only people with the URL will be able to see it. Send that to us, mail at gizwiz.tv. Um, and we're using 99% of everything we get. Mail at gizwiz.tv. Now let's move on to the letter. Our letter is from Blue Green Yoshi, who emails us about the fuffle human dog bed. Hi, Dick and Chad. I was scrolling through the latest news on my phone and was shown an ad for this product. I never heard of a dog bed made of humans before. I thought you and Chad would get a kick out of it. It was also featured on Shark Tank, according to their website. Yours in jocularity, Chad Masters. So <laughs> it's like it, it's a dog bed, human size. Yeah, yeah. I'm not uh, quite sure. You don't think? Uh... <laughs> I'd have to. I'd have to throw my bed out in order yeah. to have room for it. This would just be. This would replace your rug in your living room. You know, you just have a dog a human bed a human dog bed yeah. i really hope that bottom portion is nice and soft because it seems like it's just right on the floor there wait a minute it's 339 dollars yeah at that price you could just buy a mattress you could buy five dog beds and just <laughs> sleep on them Oh, machine washable. I feel like the machine couldn't be big enough. I don't. Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. Original dog bed for humans. I got to say, though, I, w I want to try it out. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I want to lay in it. I want to see. <laughs> I think that this would be absolutely awesome. Like, this would be daydream level cool if... You were like 15 and younger. I was just going to say, yes. <laughs> I was going for 14. But yes. Is, we're right in the same age category. Yeah. Kids would love. Absolutely. This. People who don't care about their knees or their joints would love yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> this seems and you so fun. Don't have to make it. You just jump into it. Yeah. And you, you, you know, you're going to watch TV on the floor. Watch TV on the floor in a dog bed. It sounds <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, you have a, no matter which way you turn your head, you have a pillow. Exactly. Exactly. Mm. Um, I mean, I could even be convinced, uh, not for $340. No, no, no. I could be convinced to own one of these. Seems fun. Seems, seems awesome. I like it. Imagine if you had this and a bladeless fan. <laughs> what kind of a <laughs> This, a bladeless fan, let me think, and uh, uh, <laughs> another gadget, <laughs> like, and a life-size model of the Enterprise, no, yeah, and a desk, LED desk lamp, there we go, oh, wait, wait, I should have said, and the creeper fridge, that's, that's oh, all I need, there you go, there you go, <laughs> wow, wow. Then I'd be set. That is so, so interesting. The Fluffle, spelled P-L-U-F-L. -L. The Fluffle. Um, the way this website is set up, though, it makes me suspicious. The way that there's so many pop-ups, and it just screams that this is like a dropshipper, and that they're not... I don't know why. I, don't, I do not like their website. Um... But yeah, other all other than that, a human-sized dog bed. That is, and also that's... it doesn't say if anybody on Shark Tank put any money in this, so right. that they get left out of this out of the studio. Right. 
It's been featured there, uh, but I don't think anyone <laughs> backed it. That's pretty cool. Okay, thanks for the letter. With, uh, with that, I want to say thank you to our patrons over at patreon.com slash gizwiz. Thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, you guys are awesome. Honestly, uh, amazing. You guys are so supportive of the show, so I really, really appreciate y'all's generosity. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the show, we have a new uh, feature for the patrons. Uh, that'll be a gadget giveaway. Uh, the post should, for that should go up tomorrow, and uh, that'll just be another little park. Other than that, y'all get to vote on the uh, crappy corner, and you get the warm and fuzzy feeling of supporting our show. <laughs> <laughs> That's another feature of being a patron. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. Honestly, you guys are awesome. Gizwiz.tv. Uh, click on the Patreon tab, and you can support us there. There's also a PayPal link on that page as well if you want to support us on PayPal. Thank you guys once again. Gizmas.tv is where you can watch the show live just about every Thursday, except for the next few weeks. Uh, we are having a bit of schedule changes. Next week should be fine, but the week after that, for Thanksgiving, we'll be recording on a Tuesday again. If there's ever a schedule change, it'll be at the top of our website, gizwiz.tv. Just look for the little banner at the top of the website that will mention all of the schedule changes. Whenever we're live, the website will just update with the live stream, so head on over there and, uh, and hang out with us. Chat along with the chat room when it's uh, working. <laughs> It just died. Yeah. Um, so apologize for that, for those of you who are watching the, uh, in the IRC. Uh, and if you don't catch it live, all of our videos are there after the fact, gizwiz.tv. Head on over to gizwiz.biz. That's Diggity's website where he writes articles about all the gadgets that we talk about on this show. So if you ever need a link back to Amazon, that's the place to go. While you're there playing, what the heck is it? Uh, you gotta guess what the heck this gadget is. And this is a whole gadget, not just a piece or part of the gadget. You gotta get a guess in to figure out what this gadget is. And uh, this is obvious to me that this is the um, uh, the Diet Coke button. Yeah, uh, you know, whenever Dickie D needs a Diet Coke delivered into his uh, into the uh, Gizwiz Studio. He hits that button right there on the front of that, sends a signal <laughs> to a new robot, send in a Diet Coke. Uh, what's your soda of choice? Are you a soda drinker, Dickie D? Uh, yes, um, Coke Zero or Pepsi Zero. Perfect, yeah. Awesome. Well, now we know what gets delivered. There we go, Coke yeah. Zero. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but I need 14 cans of it at one time so just ah oh, have i got the mini fridge for you <laughs> oh man uh so if you think you know what this gadget is get a guess in gizwiz.biz six mad magazines for correct answers 12 mad magazines for funny clever or hilarious answers so get creative over at gizwiz.biz that about wraps it up for our show we'll see you next week i'll be here